Welcome to everyone. Today, we are going to discuss the controversy surrounding the TTD Tirumala Ladu. This is not just a Ladu, it is a subject that involves the faith of devotees, politics, and various social issues. On September 18th, the Honorable Chief Minister of Andhra Pradesh Sri N. Chandrababu Naidu informed the public about adulteration in the Tirumala Ladu. Kadana Tirumala Ladu Guda Nasi Rakam Nakaita Achari Vesundi Devun Degrebete Prasadam Apavitran Jesse Vidangam O Sir Bade Sundi Nasi Rakam and Ingredient Sega Kunda Animal Fat Guda Vadarani this led to widespread debate and controversy. Normally, the ghee used in making the famous Tirumala Ladu is procured through tenders every six months by the Tirumala Tirupati Devasthanams. Previously, ghee was purchased from the KMF Nandini Company in Karnataka. Later, it started being procured from AR Dairy Food Private Limited. There is a rumor that the tender rules were changed specifically for this company. When this news reached Sri Y. S. Jagan Mohan Reddy, people questioned how rules were changed for the benefit of a specific company. How could the rules be altered, and who exactly changed them? The ghee from AR Dairy was being purchased at 300 per kilogram. However, under the current market conditions, purchasing ghee at this rate is impossible. Therefore, the possibility of adulteration was very high. No businessman would risk such losses for a mere commodity. On June 9, 2024, Chandrababu Naidu was appointed as the Chief Minister of Andhra Pradesh. Samples were sent on July 6 and the National Dairy Development Board, Center of Analysis and Learning in Livestock and Food received the samples on July 9. The analysis was completed by July 13, and the report was released on July 16. However, people began questioning why this matter wasn't shared with the public until September 18. During that period, the ghee was being purchased at 300 per kilogram. At present, the best quality ghee should be priced at around 950 per kilogram. They found that 10 tankers of ghee were delivered, and 4 tankers were sent back. The question arose, could adulteration have occurred in the other 6 tankers? If so, was this ghee used in the Ladu production process? In response to this controversy, Sri Jagan Mohan Reddy planned to visit Tirumala to deliver a speech. Chandra Babu Naidu asked him to sign a declaration before visiting the temple. Jagan Reddy responded to that his religion is humanity. <laughs> If Jug and Reddy want to visit the temple, then why don't he simply sign and visit temple? Why was Chandra Babu Naidu requesting a declaration especially now, when there was no such need earlier? The YSRCP filed petitions in the court on this issue. In response, the court asked TDP that prima facie, there was no evidence of adulteration in the Ladu. If there was no clear evidence of adulteration, why didn't they perform retesting? When the report was received in July, why was it not made public until September 18th? 
And why was a special investigation team formed on September 26, when there was no substantial evidence to proceed with the public release of the report? The court also requested to keep the political aspects aside and questioned why the press was involved before the special investigation team could complete its investigation. The executive officer of TTD stated that no adulteration had occurred in the Ladu production process. Supreme Court asked solicitor, can a special team formed on this issue? In the midst of this, Deputy Chief Minister of Andhra Pradesh Pawan Kalyan sought a separate board for Sanatana Dharma. This led to even more controversy when Prakash Raj intervened, adding fuel to the fire. The Tamil actor Karthi also commented that this was a sensitive issue. This created a minor conflict between them. Now, coming back to the NDDB CAF report, According to ISO 17678, 2019, suspected adulterants include Soya bean, sunflower, olive, rapeseed, linseed, wheat germ, maize germ, cotton seed, fish oil, coconut and palm kernel fat, palm oil, beef tallow, lard. The NDDB CAF report also mentions that there may be chances of false positive report in some circumstances. Obtained from bovine milk other than cow's milk. Obtained from cows which received an exceptionally high feeding of pure vegetable oils such as rapeseed oil, cotton or palm oil etc. Obtained from cow suffering from serious underfeeding. Obtained from colostrums. Subjected to technological treatments such as removal of cholesterol or fractionation. Obtained from cheeses showing increased lipolysis. Extracted by using the Gerber, Weibel Burntrop or Schmidbon Zinskaratzlaff methods, or that has been isolated using detergent. The 2018 TTD tender specifies certain standards. Let's check if these standards align with the current report. Moisture percentage by weight should not exceed 0.3%. The report states 0.144% moisture. Butyrol refractometer reading at 40 degrees Celsius should be between 40.0 to 43.0. The report shows 41.7 degrees Celsius. Free fatty acid should be below 0.5%. The report shows 0.373%. R.M value minimum should be 26.0. The report shows 28.32. Tests for sesame oil, mineral oil, and foreign colors should all be negative. The report shows all these tests are negative. Melting point should be between 27 degrees Celsius and 37 degrees Celsius, but the report shows 43.25 degrees Celsius. Thus, it appears that adulteration has occurred, and it is likely that animal fat was used in the ghee, which is why it failed the standard tests. Devotees who visit Tirumala for Lord Venkatesvara's darshan are deeply hurt by this issue. It is painful to see how politics and other issues have caused adulteration. It is essential that the government take immediate steps to ensure such grave incidents do not happen in the future. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to Physical View for more videos. Don't forget to hit the bell icon.